Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading for the end of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at your love connection reading. And this has to be a connection of some kind. So you definitely do have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. So that's totally fine. So we'll see uh, what kind of energy we get. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you have Virgo in any of those placements, you don't have to have them in all those placements. So we'll see what's going on for you at this time. <clears throat> and I do say at this time, because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links are below in the description box for your general and love playlist, along with decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that is below. And I'll also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. So welcome everybody. Hope you're all doing well. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. And if you're not dealing with whatever comes out here, totally fine. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not making sense for you, it's probably not your reading, so please don't try to make it fit. Um, hold out for the next reading. I just may not be tapping into your energy at this time. Or like I said, you can go back, watch uh, past playlists. Something there may resonate for you. I would say disregard the dates. So let's see what we have here. And at any time throughout this reading, you can flip flop, switch the energies anytime you see fit. So you have Scorpio. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or they could have it in their chart placement somewhere if it's not their sun sign, or maybe you even have Scorpio in your chart. So however that resonates for you. So Scorpio in the tarot does represent the death card which is about um, endings and transformations. So that may not mean anything. So we'll see what comes out here. I did get in the pre-shuffle. I saw the Nine of Pentacles. I saw the Fool and I saw, oh, what was the other card? I don't know. I get the energy of maybe somebody finally becoming single and like from something, but I don't know. We'll see what we get here. So we'll see what we get here. That may just be a bonus message for some people. Okay, so let's see, Virgo, what's going on with Virgo at this time? So the first thing I'm going to do here, Virgo, is get like a overall love energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time. So let's see, can we have an opening message about this love connection for Virgo and whoever they're thinking about at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. I feel like that one. So we have choose your battles. So this is a seven of wands. So the seven of wands can be about being defensive, on guard, uh, when to fight, when not to fight. I know you arguing a lot with somebody. <clears throat> um, and maybe, you know, you're needing to say to yourself, okay, do I really need to start an argument about this? It's like choosing the battle, like... <laughs> maybe arguing all the time, or this could be an um, energy of standing up and fighting for something also. So we'll see what comes out here. So the next thing I'm going to do is Virgo, I'm put you on this side, your person on that side, pull one for each of you, how you're feeling about the connection in each other. And uh, then we'll clarify those energies with the tarot. Then we'll look at the actual connection energy, advice for the connection, possible outcome of the connection. And then we'll get extra messages with the angel answers at the end. So, well, okay. Let's get one for your person. There we go. So let's see what we have for you, Virgo. So we have the crown chakra. So this is being very intuitive. And you see this color, um, magenta, whatever that is, almost like the same color in the Scorpio energy here. So this is uh, listening, like being very in tune, in touch with the source, with your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing energy. So very, very intuitive energy. You can be very spiritually connected here because we got two sevens. We got six, seven, eight. Wow. So <laughs> that's like progression though. But seven is a very spiritual number. So you can be very spiritual, very spiritually connected really connected with your angels, your uh, spirit team, your intuition, that kind of energy. So let's see what your person has. Shine. So they got the sun energy. That's good. 
So that's happiness and joy um, in every single way. Most positive card in the deck. Wow. So <laughs> there, that, that success, victory, growth, expansion, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family, success, victory, happiness, joy. I mean, everything positive in every way. With, so they're kind of like in a high vibration. And you're very spiritually connected and, and, and intuitive for some of you. Or you see your person in that light as for someone who's very uh, in high vibration and intuitive and that kind of energy. And this person knows that like you are their person because this can, the sun can also be very indicative of soulmate twin flame energy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have trust. So this is taking a leap of faith. And I saw that in the um, tarot in the pre-shuffle. So jumping right in, taking a leap of faith, resetting, restarting at zero. It's a new start. After the fool takes that leap into a new start, then you have one, which is the new beginning. So taking a leap into a new beginning here. And your person has the sun, which is 19. But if you add that together, it's 10, which again is an ending. But then one is always a new beginning. Wow, okay. So let's see what's going on here for you, Virgo. I'm getting a very high vibrational energy, like, between the two of you, actually. Like, almost being in the same energy. But I don't know what that Choose Your Battles is about. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this is just defending this connection. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe they could be people around trying to meddle in this connection. Trying to say, oh no, that person's no good for you. They're not for you. Blah, 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 blah. But you both know like you're kind of meant for each other. You're just trusting in each other. Trusting and taking this leap of faith together. Kind of energy. Because you see these people like looking over. Could be the Divine Masculine. Like looking over them like what are you doing and that's not the right person for you but blah, blah, blah. you need to end it which could be the death with the Scorpio card but I don't think you guys are having it or you're not or vice versa so the two of wands so you know making plans decisions for the future what else so now we have the ace of wands so this is a very fiery passionate new beginning exciting um new beginning here so you're wanting this new beginning with this person you've made the decision to have this new beginning with this person and you don't care it's like you're not going to fight everybody around you it's like i'm picking and choosing my battles i'm not going to fight everybody around me about this person this is my person i'm having i'm taking this leap of faith i intuitively know they're my person i've made the decision and i want this fiery passionate exciting new beginning and they could be a fire sign if they're not a Leo, if they're not a Scorpio. This, I feel, is like the energy around you or around the two of you, like people saying, like meddling and saying, you know, no, no, this isn't your person. No, you shouldn't be with them. You need to end it, blah, blah, blah. So let's see. So let's see. The chariot. Yeah, your person definitely wants to move forward. In this a lot of drive ambition balance success victory yep they definitely want to move this forward too kind of energy king of swords this is like divine energy to me so yeah i think they're divinely connected also as you are the king of swords king queen ace swords always to me is divine energy higher knowing you know, universal energy. It's also that energy of being, you know, clear-minded, clarity, truth, uh, communication, honest communication, cutting away things no longer serving. This person has the sword, like, I'm ready to cut away all those meddling uh, energies around, you know, picking, choosing my battles. I'm not fighting all these people about this. I'm done, like, cutting away that energy, standing up, not taking the S, kind of energy wow it's like they know exactly what they want and they want this to move forward as you do with the ace of wands so wow okay 
Okay, Virgo, let's get the actual situation. The Three of Swords, so this is heartache and pain. I, I just feel like you thought about it and you made the decision that without this person, I, I would just like die. It's like I would just like want to give up. I would be so heartbroken. My heart would just break in a million pieces because this is my person. This is my soulmate, my person. You know that. You, you're divinely connected. You know that. You may even been told that by source. This is your true soulmate. And they know it too. And you know your heart, your mind, your body would soul would just break in a million pieces without this person. All right. Well, ooh, okay. Death. So now we have death again with Scorpio, which is Scorpio there. So I'm, I'm feeling like, yeah, I'm feeling like if this had to come to an end, that it would just break your heart because you're in the energy of making a decision for this new beginning. And you know that if this were to end, you would just be so heartbroken. Yep, because this is a past life soulmate. Did I not just say that? Did I not just say the Six of Cups? You know, totally, and you may even know you've had past lives with this person. You, you both know it's right in the middle. You both know your soulmates, twin flames, whatever. You've had past lives together. You may have known each other for a long time, since childhood, or whatever here, but you both know Six of Cups. And this just shot up, just hit it, and it shot up right between the two of you here. So you both know that you're divine soulmates, past lives together. Wow. And you're staying together no matter what. <laughs> Ten of Wands. So yeah, it's it gets burning some sometimes because... I feel like for some reason there's people around that maybe disapprove or whatever and that all that energy gets very heavy and burdensome and I feel like this side knows, you know what, all that heavy burdensome energy from whatever these energies or people or whatever are around, like watching or looking, it's like this person is just like using that sword now and just cutting and ending like all those ties. It's like no more. I'm not battling. I'm not battling that anymore. It's not worth it. Oh, excuse me. I have the hiccups. So what else here? Now we got the Queen of Swords. Wow. Matching couple here. So they know. They know your soulmates. Matching couple. King and Queen of Swords. Matching couple. Soulmates. Double confirmation of them using that sword and cutting away the burdensome energy around them that's affecting this connection. It's like, I'm not having any more, I'm not fighting those battles anymore. I'm done with that energy. Because they know too, it's a soulmate energy, six of cups, wow. All right, so let's get advice for this. And I know Virgo, you're six, we just got the six of cups. So let's get advice for this connection, advice for this connection. Nine of Swords, so stress, worry, fear, anxiety. Yeah, you, <laughs> you have stress, fear, worry, anxiety about if this ever ended, I don't know what I would do. I, I think you would just like, I don't know, you you would be so broken, I feel. All right, what else? Two of Pentacles, yeah, that's juggling things around. Yeah, you're juggling around, you know, all this crap in your head about you know, okay, we're soulmates, we've had past lives, but there's all this other energy around, whether it's people or whatever that energy is that may cause it to end, whatever, however that makes sense for you. You're juggling all that around in your head, which is making you very stressed out that, oh my God, this may end. And I feel like, and I think you're, you feel like you'll just want to die. That's, that's what I'm getting. Wow. All right, but that's your advice for this. I think your advice is to stop juggling all that energy around in your head, to stop stressing over it. Mental blockage now. Wow, yeah. Wow. Let's get one more. Page of Pentacles. So that's a solid offer, a stable offer coming in, stable communication. 
I think if you have all these fears, anxieties, these mental blockages, thoughts in your head you can't get out of your head, you're juggling all that energy around, and you see the pages on this side, you need to talk to your person. Maybe you're not telling them all these thoughts, all these fears that are going around in your head. I think you need to talk to them. And I think they could stabilize you with the Page of Pentacles. I think they, they you know, they really ground you. So I need, think you need to reach out to them, talk to them, so you can make these plans, have these stable conversations for the future. All right, so let's get possible outcomes. So judgment call, so uh, making a final decision over this whole situation, however this resonates for you. Making a judgment call. I wanted two more. Nine of Pentacles. So, and I did see that in the pre-shuffle. So the Nine of Pentacles can be a single energy. But that is about stability, you know, standing on your own two feet, taking care of yourself. Six of Wands. So this is success and victory. Accomplishment. Here's the offer here. So... But I see the Nine of Pentacles like turning away from the Six of Wands with the offer to success and victory. So this is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling for some of you, you'll accept this offer. You'll move on with your person. And for some of you, I think you'll decide that whatever the energy is that's going around in this connection, as much as you feel this deep, deep connection, soulmate, twin flame, whatever with this person, but whatever energies are, are around affecting this connection, I feel like for some of you, you may decide to just go off and be single, that it's just too much to deal with. But for some of you, you'll accept the offer, the Six of Wands, and you move forward with success and victory with your person. So whatever that resonates for you. So I'm reading probably two group of people in the situation, and one group may walk away because it's just too much energy surrounding this conflicting energy or negative energy or whatever and they can't deal with it so as much as it's going to break them they're going to decide to go single and for some they just can't live without this person they're going to accept the offer this person comes in with and they'll ride off with success and victory with their soulmate twin flame so however that resonates for you because we do have a decision and we have like two separate energies here so Oh, all right. So let's see what's on the bottom. Eight of Cups. Yeah, some of you will walk away because it's just too much energy around this. Too much, yeah, too much toxic energy surrounding this. Whatever that is, some of you can't handle it, so some of you will walk away, I feel. But this fate and destiny here. So this is something divinely guided, something meant to be in your life. But some of you will walk away. Even though there's lots and lots of love and emotions between the two of you and passion. But some of you will manifest a brand new beginning with this person. And work it out between the two of you. And have that loving communication between the two of you. And some of you will go off and be single and independent and stable on your own. Is that your energy? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So different energies here. So I guess however this resonates for you, choose your battles. Whatever your choice is, I guess for some will be the right choice for you. So again, here, uh, some being s single and stable on their own. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. No apologies could be apologies or loving communication. Oh, my cat is banging the camera. Sorry. And then we have single energy working it out for some of you here. Some of you manifesting this brand new beginning <laughs> with your person. Okay. I got to get the cat out of here. Sorry, guys. Okay. So <laughs> some of you manifesting this brand new beginning between the two of you. Bringing the passion and the love back in. 
because this is a divinely guided soulmate that you're meant to be with, but some won't be able to take the toxic energy surrounding this and will walk away, unfortunately, from this very strong, strong uh, soulmate twin flame connection. So besides Scorpio, we have Leo, we have Cancer, we have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, we have Scorpio, uh, let's see here, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have Scorpio again, let's see, we have Capricorn, energy here, we have Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sag, Aries, Gemini, um, magician here, I believe, is Gemini and Virgo. And Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So a lot of energies here. All right, so let's get some closing messages here for you, Virgo. I do ask Virgo if you knew, especially if you knew. Um, you like my style, how I read. You can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You'll get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. So let's get some closing messages for Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Oh, it's too many. Okay, I feel this one. Well, we got big, happy changes. So, yes, yeah, some of you will move forward with big happy changes with your person, I feel. Yeah, and some of you, ultimately, it's up to you what you will do in this connection. But there definitely is romance here. And growth and abundance if you choose to uh, stay with this person. And yeah, some of you will walk away and say no because it's just too much toxic energy of some kind or whatever that energy is around this connection. And some of you will walk away. Okay, Virgo, <laughs> best of luck to you. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.